Hello everyone, welcome back. We uh, getting some sunshine today. We're here in the rock pile, as I affectionately call it. Uh, and you can kind of see some of the rocks laying here, or I hope, I hope you can. This is an extremely rocky field. We had it in corn last year. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put it in this year. But uh, yesterday was a sunny day. We had some wind, a uh, little bit of wind to uh, help dry the ground. The ground is starting to dry. It's supposed to be sunny and windy today and uh, pretty tomorrow. So there is a possibility tomorrow night that this little acre of ground here will be ready to plow. And uh, you know, we look at this little spot we plowed the other day. Uh, it's, uh, it's starting to dry up. Uh, we, uh, if we have sun and wind today and tomorrow, uh, I feel pretty confident that the ground will be dry enough to, uh, to plow. So, uh, that's, uh, that, that's a good thing. We've, uh, not made a lot of videos lately because we haven't been doing a whole lot. Uh, we haven't been doing a whole lot on the farm, been busy in other areas, but, uh, that's kind of where we're at. And what I'll do, I'll use here, this little field here at the house kind of as a test run for, uh, you know, uh, make sure everything's working right. It's so rocky, you know, you gotta go slow and easy and uh, it's a little bit of a pain to get plowed. So, uh, but we'll try to get hit, uh, try to get hit done. But uh, that's, you know, it's, it gets uh, it gets difficult this time of year when you're needing to get things done and can't get them done. But uh, I'm trying to find a set of plows, and I've I found a couple sets here, there, and yonder that, uh, uh, and I've got a set actually that I could probably fix to uh, run. But what I'm gonna do, my son, my 12 year old son, I'm gonna uh, this year when we start plowing. I'm gonna let him plow with the 5205 instead of two bottom plows, and uh, I'll use the New Holland with the three bottom plows. And uh, uh, last year we done some work. I let him, you know, do some tillage with this tractor while I done other things with the uh, New Holland. But uh, we're slowly getting started. I hope to get started, and. Uh, get some things done I've done a couple videos I just haven't got them posted uh, we'll try to get some some stuff up and try to get you some footage uh, as we start with our uh, spring tillage but uh, this ground is real close uh, people ask me all the time you know when can you tell that grounds dry enough to uh, till and that depends a lot upon the ground uh, how much clay it's got in it, how much sand and loam it's got in it, and uh, you know the time of the year too. We're getting late in the year where I'm gonna have very little freeze thaw cycle from this point on to help mellow that ground out or to help break it on down. So uh, it needs to be a little drier now than it would have been two months ago. I could have got by with it on a little more damp than I can now. But uh, it depends on your soil uh, for. A, the whole uh, for a uh, uh, you know to tell when it's dry enough. Uh, another thing, this ground that's tilled, that's already been plowed, will dry quicker than this ground. Uh, you know, there's you got more of it flipped up. You got some more surface area. It'll dry. It's more puffy. It's less compact. Um, it, it'll dry quicker than this untilled ground. Now this ground here wasn't cover cropped. It's just uh, some winter natural cover crop, basically is what it's got on. It's got some grass in it that we uh, will try to get turned under and then of course worked up later. But, uh, and no, those are not my roosters. Uh, people ask me that question all the time. That's my neighbor uh, above me there. But uh, those are not our roosters, but that's, uh, you know, after looking at it today, it's, Mm. 
what time is it of course it's, we're on daylight savings time now it's one o'clock so it's got uh, several hours to dry today and then all day tomorrow so uh, you know we'll, hopefully we'll uh, uh, it'll be dry enough to work tomorrow evening and if it is we'll get you guys a video and uh, we'll get started with spring tillage 2020 like i said i've still not decided what i'm gonna put in this field this year uh, it may be corn it may be uh, we think about doing some winter squash in it, but I don't know whether we will or not. So stay tuned. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when we put up a video. Uh, see a video you like, give it a thumbs up. If you got a question or comment, please do so. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.